Hi everyone, I'm Shelly and you're watching There's No Place Like Home. Since so many people ask me what kinds of books I read, I thought that I would share with you today my 2021 book list for this 21st century rebel. You know, I've got to say that growing up, I never imagined that I would be calling myself a rebel as an adult because I was always the least rebellious person that you would ever come across. But when you live in an age that both truth and tradition are considered to be against the grain, you almost have to take that stance, at least if those things are important to you. So the book list that I'm going to be sharing with you today are just the books that I have now that I know for sure that I want to read this year. This list is tentative though because things always change. There are lots of other books that I'm hoping to get that I just don't have right now and there are also some books that I already started reading but for some reason stopped in the past and might pick up on. But here are, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to share eight books that I definitely want to read this year. This one I'm actually reading right now, so we'll start here. Exposing the Expositions, Ancient Rome in America. So for those of you who have been following my Question the Narrative series, you will know that I did talk about the World's Fairs, and that is what this book is about. It is written by a historian, and he is actually questioning the whole narrative of the World's Fairs. And so far, it is extremely fascinating. Another one is Demons by Michael Heiser, and this is what the Bible really says about the powers of darkness. We get a lot of folklore about these entities, and a lot of Christians, unfortunately, don't even believe that they actually exist, but they are in the Bible. They do exist, and what Michael Heiser is doing is he is separating fact from fiction and is going over only what is in the Bible about them, because I think that it is really important that you know your enemy. The next one on my list is Uncle Sam's Plantation. I have to add that you might have seen some of these books on my other videos about books that I was planning on reading because some of them I just never got around to. So if you see any repetition, that's why. this. I think this is one of them. I'm pretty sure I included this in another video. Um, Uncle Sam's Plantation, How Big Government Enslaves America's Poor and What We Can Do About It. Very important. The next one is Not On My Watch, How to Win the Fight for Family, Faith, and Freedom by Elizabeth Johnston, the activist mommy. I am really looking forward to reading this and getting some ideas from her. The next one, I actually did start reading, I think, the first couple chapters of this so far, and I had to put it down because you can see so many of the things that this book talks about happening right now that it was scary and my like my heart couldn't take it. But I do want to finish this at some point in time because, as I mentioned before, it is important to be informed and to know your enemy. So this book is called Rise of the New World Order, The Culling of Man. And it is written by J. Mike Michael Thomas Hayes. The next one is more of a mom sort of book, but like I said, tradition is one of those things that you are considered to be a rebel nowadays if you uphold it. So I'm also going to be reading Family Driven Faith by Dr. Not Dr. Sorry. By Pastor Vody Bauckham Jr. He might be a doctor. I don't even know. I don't think so though. It doesn't say. But anyway, Vody Bauckham Jr. Um, I highly recommend that you watch his sermon, Children of Caesar, if you are unsure about taking your children out of the school system and you are a believer. And I also ask that you would pray for, for Vody Bauckham right now as he is having, I believe it was heart failure. So just keep him in your prayers. But Family Driven Faith is about doing what it takes to raise sons and daughters who walk with God. Second last one that I have here is Saboteurs by Thomas Horn. And it says, from shocking WikiLeaks revelations about Satanism in the U.S. Capitol to the connection between witchcraft, the Babylon working, spirit cooking, and the fourth turning gray champion, how secret deep state occultists are manipulating American society through a Washington-based shadow government in quest of the final world order. It's another one of those books that I have a feeling that once I start reading it, I am not going to want to continue, but I will. And the last one, I believe that this one I also shared in another video and just haven't gotten around to reading it because I am constantly reading so many books and I constantly have books coming 
all the time, always ordering books. And so then some of them get pushed to the back. There's just not enough time in the world to read all the books that I want to read. So many books, so little time, right? So anyway, so this one is Archon Invasion, The Rise, Fall, and Return of the Nephilim. And this is by Rob Skiba. And if you, I also actually did a, a video. I mentioned the Nephilim in my videos about giants. So again, I'll link my question, the narrative playlist in the description box below in case you would want to check out my World's Fair video or the, I think I have three about giants. There's a bunch of other videos on there as well, because really that's what we have to do in this day and age. We are lied to about so many things that it's just, it's gotten to the point where we have to question pretty much everything that they have told us. And really, it's not a bad thing to ask these questions. I do have to say, after reading all of these books and my question the narrative series, some that I think about is that I think it's really important though that as we are out there truth seeking, if we do find evidence that the narrative, one particular, one particular narrative that they're telling us is the truth, we've got to accept that. I think that sometimes we in the truth community, we want so badly for, you know, for the them to be telling us the wrong thing, that even if we're given evidence that actually supports that, know that they're actually telling us the truth, we kind of push it away and we have to be very careful about that. I'm sure that they do mix a lot of truth in with the things that they tell us as well. And really it's just our job um, just to kind of sift through it. That's all that I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and would like to hear more of what I have to say, I would love if you would do that. If you have any questions or comments, I think you'll be able to leave one down below. So, so far I've had my comments now for a couple weeks. If by chance you can't, you can find me over on Instagram. That link is in the description box as well. And if you like my work and would like to check out my Patreon page, I will leave a link in the description box for that as well. And I hope you have a great day.